welcome back. November 22nd. I know I got the soup pot out, but we're not making soup today. We're making cranberry relish because it's National Cranberry Relish Day. Yeah, there we go. We got some nice fresh cranberries. I'm not even doing the strawberry, uh, the strawberry, the frozen ones because cranberries are in season. This is when you get them. Uh, so we're going to make some fresh cranberry relish. Now, I'm not a huge cranberry fan with my thanks Thanksgiving's in two days, three days, two days. I'm not one of those people that puts cranberry sauce on my turkey. That's just me. I don't know. I, it just doesn't do anything for me. It never really did. Um, but I like the idea of this cranberry relish because if you make a nice cheese plate with some cheese and crackers, it would make a great topping for that. And that's, I think, how we're going to taste test our cranberry relish today with a little goat cheese on a cracker. I think that's going to pair up really, really nice. Or if you want to do it with some brie or something. So it's not just for Thanksgiving and just for your turkey. You can use this cranberry relish for a lot of different stuff, I'm sure. Alrighty, so here's what you need for today, and let's get started on this one. Okay, for our cranberry relish today, you'll need two cups of sugar, two cups of water, a cinnamon stick, five whole cloves, four cups or 32 ounces of fresh or frozen cranberries, the zest of an orange, two teaspoons of grated fresh ginger, and one ounce of brandy. Let's get started in my big stock pot here. I put my two cups of water, okay? Now, I don't have cheesecloth, like you have to kind of infuse the cinnamon and the cloves into your mixture here. It's only five little cloves and one cinnamon stick. I think I'm going to be able to fish that out. So I'm just going to add that right to my water here. And I'm going to add my sugar to that as well. And we're just going to let this all cook. And then I'll pick out those five little cloves and my cinnamon, okay? So just add that to that. And let's get this mixture going here. Until it's all the crystal, the crystal, the sugar will dissolve. The cloves I can see already are floating at the top, so they're going to be easy to pick out. We just kind of want to infuse the cinnamon and clove flavor into our liquid here. The sugar will break down and we'll have a nice liquid. Alrighty? Okay, so I pulled out our cloves and now my cinnamon stick. Okay, we let those infuse. We let this cook for about five minutes just to let that flavor kind of steep in and get our mixture boiling here, okay? We're now going to add our cranberries to this. Okay, we're going to put that on about a medium heat, and we're just going to cook this for about 10 minutes or so till these cranberries start to break down, okay? I hope that's what's going to happen. I've never cooked cranberries before. I'm guessing that's what happens, that as they cook, kind of like cherries and stuff, that they get mushy and soft, and they just, the liquid comes out, and it all kind of breaks down. I'm hoping that's what happens, all right? So about 10 minutes or so is what they tell me to do. All righty. Boy, these, they weren't kidding. This stuff really breaks down. It's funny, when you put them in, they're very firm, the cranberries, the fresh ones, and you think, like, how the heck are these things going to break down? All of a sudden, you start hearing these little popping noises, <laughs> and they all just kind of bust open, and then you got this mix. It looks like pie filling. I, you know, like I said, I've never cooked cranberries before. So this is an interesting one. First one for us. To this now, I'm going to add our orange zest. Okay. Our ginger. And our brandy. Okay. We're going to add that right to that. And we're just going to mix that all together. We're going to let this cook for about another five minutes. Like I said, on a medium heat, just leave it on a simmer. Let it cook for another five minutes. Let all those flavors infuse. And then we're done. We got cranberry relish. We're going to just let this one cool down. We'll put, pop it in the fridge. And we'll come back in a little while. And like I said, I'm going to do the taste test today with a little goat cheese on a cracker. Because that's more my jam than <laughs> on my turkey. I don't know why. I just don't like cranberry. Although, you know what? I went to all this trouble to make this. Maybe this Thanksgiving I will actually try some of this on my turkey, just to see. I'll let you know day after Thanksgiving. Alrighty, be back when this one's ready for the test, taste testing. Okay, so it's a little while later. As you can see, it makes quite a bit of this relish. It thickens up nicely. I mean, if you're a fan of cranberry sauce, I mean, you're gonna love this. And this is half the recipe. I halved it because 
I was like, they wanted like eight cups of cranberries, and I was like, what the heck am I going to do with all that? I mean, that's a, a lot as it is for someone who doesn't do it. Anyway, I went to the tasting. I took some crackers with some nice goat cheese, like I said I was going to do, because that's going to be how I'm going to sample this today. Put some of that right on top of there, so you get the tartness of the cranberries and the sweetness with the sweetness of the goat cheese. It's going to be good. Mmm. Let me just grab it. Paper towel, because you know I constantly have stuff on my on my face. What a pairing. Wow. Pairs up perfectly. Like I said, a brie would probably be really good with this poured over too, which I'll get tomorrow or the next day at the store. <laughs> I didn't have any brie. I had some goat cheese, but really digging this. It's really well done. I mean, I don't know if I'd like this on turkey. I'm going to have to try it. Like I said, I'll try it for Thanksgiving and I'll see. But it seems almost too tart and too sweet to pair up with turkey. I don't know. That's why I never got that. Anyway, happy cranberry relish day, everybody. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Enjoy. See you tomorrow.